All right, guys, time for crush and char. So what I'm using right now is just a really cheap meat grinder, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. Uh, I bought this on eBay for 20 bucks. Uh, it's doing the job. Other things you can use. Let me grab my Mr. Coffee. Uh, you can use the Mr. Coffee. I bought this for like 15 bucks at Meyer on sale. Uh, it works, but it's very messy. Uh, powdered charcoal uh, floats around a lot more than coffee beans. So if you do this, be prepared to make a giant mess. Um, other thing I will use... Excuse me for having low light, but... Is what it is. It's cold outside. Um... I will use the standard coffee grinder, the manual one. Now this one works really good, but if your charcoal isn't the size of a bean, it won't work. So what I'm going to do is once I get through this stage here, I can see there's some chunks in there that are a little bigger than I'd like them to be. I'm going to put this material through a sieve, and I'm just going to be using a, a standard um, kitchen one like this. I'm going to run it through, shake it, and the ones that survive, the big ones, are going to go into the manual coffee grinder. And then I'll get them extra thin. Uh, I do have my sieves for granulating. I guess I'll show you them now. I got a 40, a 30, and a 20. Uh, these are on Amazon. They're relatively inexpensive. They're maybe $10, $11 each. Uh, the big ones are more expensive, but this is all you need. nice thing about them is they stack. So you can put all the material on the top, shake it, and then separate. You're going to have the three layers. The 20 is going to be regrind. The um, 30 is going to be my 2F, and the 40 is going to be my 3F. So uh, you probably want to wear a respirator. Now this is an N95, and it used to be orange. You can see how black that is. That is just uh, from messing with, with charcoal. Uh, it's going to go everywhere, so definitely wear one of those. Um, my chemicals I keep in this sealed box. Uh, it's got a bit of a foam seal on it. And then inside I keep individual jars. So I've got S for sulfur. I've got my willow powder, which we'll be making more of. Got potassium nitrate in this bag. I'm going to put that in my, once I crack the seal, potassium nitrate is going to go in this jar. So these jars seal pretty well, and I don't want to have 25 pounds of black powder on hand, okay, just because of the nature of it. But I can have 25 pounds of components on hand, so if it's time to make black powder, I can make it quick and easy. That's the idea. Uh, eventually we'll get the pucks. These are some pucks that are drying from a previous batch with some garbage charcoal. But right now we are going to grind some char. So let me grab a piece from the bag. Now if you want you can just beat up the bag to kind of get them smaller to begin with. Uh, these plastic bags will get a hole in them real quick. But here I'm just going to put the piece of char in there. This thing has more than enough leverage to grind up a big chunk. You can see coming out the other end. I've got some powder out. It's loosening up a bit. It's just on by a thumb screw here. And so um, this process seems to be a little less dusty. Uh, the Mr. Coffee is electric. That thing spins real fast. When you open it, you just got poofs of powder. So this, you're going to have a lot of fine particles in the air, which are going to get in your nose. So I would definitely wear a respirator if you use this. Um, I'm not. I like how this is working, so I'm going to continue on this. Um, then, like I said, I'm going to separate it, and I'm going to take those bigger chunks, and I'm going to regrind those. Uh, ball mills, which I'm going to use, which you've probably seen many times before, are good for taking small things and making them smaller 
but they're not so good at taking big things and making them small. So if I were to throw this, these chunks in the ball mill, they probably wouldn't pulverize all the way and it would just take too long. <clears throat> so I like to get it into a nice uh, powder. Not necessarily good enough to use to mix black powder, but good enough to uh, ball mill with my other ingredients. So once I get it fine enough, they're going to go in those jars along with the other ingredients and I'll only mix a pound at a time and we'll get to that later so right now I'm gonna do some grinding and then I'll show you how I do my sifting and I'll show you the other grinder how that works okay so now I've done the sieve and I've put my pieces that were too big to fall through that sieve into my manual coffee grinder I'm just gonna give it a little shake to get it in there it's gonna be hard to do this with one hand you can see what's in there is extremely fine. I have it on the finest setting and you'll do that by adjusting this little knob here uh, on your coffee grinder but uh, I'm not going to do it but anyway you know how it works you're just going to spin the handle in those grounds whatever's left and the nice thing about it is anything that comes through this is going to be this size so it's going to be the size of a bean or smaller which is what's required uh, big chunks will just get stuck in there. So once it's gone through this, I don't even have to sieve it again. It's going to go back in my pile and then it'll be ready to be put in a jar. And from there, it will be ready to be put into our uh, mix, our green mix, which we will do next. So that's it for grinding. If I sound a little muffled, it's because I'm wearing my respirator now. Um, make sure it's an N95 or a HEPA. Don't use uh, anything else. It just won't work. So we'll finish up grinding and then we'll get to the next step.